Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and the internal touch sensors. And we can configure up to 10 GPIO pins to function as a touch sensor. So let's look into the code and do a little project. First of all, let's look into the data sheet. What's the ESP32 data sheet tell us about the touch sensor? And we can just tie a small electron electrode or metal plate or what have you to the GPIO pin and maybe we can also put in capacitor to ground. So that's all what we need for our touch sensor and here's some suggestions how big the touch electrode should be and so on. But today I skip all this and I'm just wiring some wire to the GPIO pin and that's it. So let's just get started with the Arduino IDE and just take some example that is prepared from Espressive. So we have here our touch sensor and we have one example file for touching with interrupts and one with touching with just the readout of the GPIO pin values. So let's open the easiest example, the readout, and we just begin with our serial interface and read out just the touch interfaces. So that's not really complicated. And let's have a look to the next example, the touch interrupt. And we set some tr threshold, initialize some interrupt routines and our our interrupt routines will be called if the threshold is reached and then some variables are set it and we can read it out in the loop functionality. So, but this only detects the touching of the sensor not the releasing. So I'm just prepared another example. So this is based on the ESP IDF example and I'm just starting by initializing the touchpad then setting some thresholds and just set the level below the actual threshold. And then I read out the touchpad value in a loop. And so if we are below the threshold of the readed pin, then we can activate the functionality of this pin. And if we are beyond or above the level, then we deactivate or release the pin. So that's also not not very complicated and just a small demo. So first before we set up our breadboard today, let's have a look in this pin map from Espressive. This is from the Arduino code website from GitHub from Espressive. So let's have a look into this picture and we can see some orange marked pins and that's our our GPIO pins for the touch sensors. So it's starting by touch 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. But I think this is not clear because I realized that 8 and 9 are swapped. But that's no problem. So this is my unconventional setup. It's maybe not the recommended way, but I'm just tie some wires to the GPIO pins with the touch functionality and just touch them. And as a small gap, I use my, my gloves. But you can all also do this with your raw skin, but I don't know if there's some static electric charge. Maybe you destroy your GPIO pins. So it's clear that this is not the recommended way. But hopefully there's some kind of protection inside the ESP32 GPIO pins. So I don't know. And I'm just touching the wires. And as you see, the LED is, goes on if I touch it. And and if I release it, the LED goes off. So let's go a little bit further. And I prepared an example with some RGB lights. So I can test out my five meter NeoPixel string. And it's just a small fun demo. So this is the same. We set our thresholds and levels just for sending the touch, then we initialized our WS2812 
library from this time from Marty McFly. I already used in my library contest and I think this one is very near by the ESP32 and just uses the ESP32 functionality just like the library from Niall Colbin. So let's go back to our small code and First, in a setup routine, we initialized our WS2812 library with the number of pixels. And this time I using five meters and the five meters have 60 pixels per meter. So in total, we have around about 300 LEDs. And they are all driven by my five volt USB port from my small computer. So after initializing our library, then we just loop through the touching and the releasing and if we get a pin then we set the appropriate color because I've set some array of colors for every touchpad so every touchpad have this own color and after that if we release our pin we set the, all the pixels off and that's it. So I take my LED string with the three pins and tie the ground pin to ground and the and the 5 volt rail goes to my USB input 5 volt rail and the data input pin I tie through the GPIO pin 22 of my breadboard and that's it for the preparation. Now, whenever I touch one of the pins, I get a different color for my whole RGB string. And certainly we get all the same color. So th this is what I prepared in this example. Every RGB LED light gets the same color for the five meter strip. So you see, I touch one or the other and I get different colors for the whole string. So that's a small demo and that's it for today. And today also is the time for another ESP32 module or dev board giveaway sponsored by analoglamp.com and you find the terms and conditions in this video or in the description. So thanks for watching today. I hope you find this interesting or useful and maybe learn something. You find the source code of the examples in my description and the links to my GitHub page. So have a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.